Alright, after watching my last video, YouTube user Pedro Aguiaro Mundo, sorry if I butchered your name, asked if you could take video that you shot from an SD card and put it onto an iPad. And the answer is, yes you can, if you get this. Sorry for the lighting. The iPad camera connection kit. It comes with a USB and a uh, SD card reader. So with the USD, the USB connector, you can plug it right into your camera and suck the pictures or video out of your camera. And with the SD card, you can just plug it right in using this thingy. So let's see how it works. So this is the iPad uh, SD card adapter. So I plug the SD card into it. And then we plug that into the iPad gently. And it brings up the videos that are on the card. So I'm going to take, uh, let's take a big one and see how it likes it. So I check that one and I click import. Oh, I'm sorry, there's an import button on the bottom. Import selected is the option I'll choose. And I'm getting a little swirly light right here that says that it's importing. It's a 14 minute uh, 720p HD clip. Now that's probably a pretty big file. One of the gripes I've always had with the iPads and uh, iPods and anything with an eye in front of it, even the computers, is that they never have enough hard drive space for you to do some serious video work. Uh, the wedding that I shot a few weeks ago, I shot like 25 gigabytes of uh, video. But I shoot in 1080p normally. This, uh, this GoPro that I use in the water is just a 720p version because I figured I didn't need super high quality if you're getting splashed and uh, swimming around. Alright, I don't know if you guys need to watch this whole thing import. I might just cut to when I've got it uh, in the actual iPad. There we go. Import complete. Would you like to delete the imported video from the attached camera? I'm going to say keep it on the card. And then I'm going to go ahead and close that. Remove the card. Let's see if we go into photos. So if we go into here, hit play. It is a day at the beach. There's a surfboard and a kid. Where's the... I've never done video on this thing before. Let's see. Ah, here we go. So if I wanted to go to the middle of the video, get some actual surf action. There's some actual surf action. It plays really good on the iPad. Uh, let's see if we can cut it up using iMovie. Get out of here. Go into iMovie. Giant robot suit. Let's see. I'm still. I've only had this iPod for a couple. Of, iPad for a couple of weeks, so I still don't know the, all the uh, idiot-proof icons. Let's see, what does this do? No projects available to copy from iTunes. Okay, what does this mean? Share movie to... Nah, I don't want to share the movie. Plus. Maybe plus, huh? There we go. Uh, camera roll. All imported. Last import. Okay. Last import. Alright, so I've been digging around in the iMovie help trying to find where it says what the supported file formats are and it doesn't say anywhere what files you can use and what you can't. Now you can shoot uh, HD video using the iPad itself and edit that video on here and then they claim it will uh, it'll work with DV 
DV widescreen, HDV 1080i, HDV 720p, MPEG 4, uh, simple, and iSight. Now the the file that I shot, that surfing file, was an MP4 file, and it will not play. It'll play fine on here, but I, I'm not allowed to see it in iMovie for whatever reason. But I guess the point of this whole thing is. You can import video into your iPad and import pictures into your iPad from a memory card. And if the video is in the right format, you can edit it. I don't know why it's letting me watch it. And it lets me scroll through it. It just won't let me do any editing to it. And it looks great, though. It really looks good. So I don't know, should I publish this video or should I wait until I figure out how to work it? I don't think, I think there's some fundamental reason that it's not letting me do it. So I hope that helped. Um, anyway, though, if you're trying to do HD on the iPad, there's just not enough brain power, not enough memory in here. There seems to be enough processing power to run video fine and all the things that we've edited have come out good. The, uh, the our little Lego movies, but we just, it just doesn't have a big enough brain to fill it up with HD video and use it as your editing station. So it would be cool if you were on the road and you wanted to shoot some video and didn't want to have to wait till you got home to edit it on your big computer. I could see doing that. How's the sound on this thing? Sound is really good on the iPad too. Let's see if this kid can catch a wave. There you go, paddle into that one, all right. All right. Nope, he's still learning. Me.